टुडे वी डिस्कस अबाउट लोकोमोटरी ऑर्गनेल्स एंड लोकोमोशन इन प्रोटोजोआ इन दिस वी सी द थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ लोकोमोटरी ऑर्गनेल्स सुडोपोडिया सीलिया एंड फ्लैजीरा फर्स्ट सुडोपोडिया द सुडोपोडिया दैट इज फॉल्स फूट दीज आर having a different shapes first one is lobopodia for example amoeba second philopodia that is euglypha third type is reticulopodia globigerina fourth one axopodia actinophrys these types of pseudopodia are dependent upon their shape in this diagram you can observe first one lobopodia that is lobe like outgrowth of body lobular one philopodia means a triangular broad at the base and tapering at the end next one is axopodia it is a long hair like and next one is reticulopodia it is also hair like but it has a branching nature all these are the types of pseudopodia this pseudopodia in this diagram you can observe amoeba has a lobular pseudopodia all these other protozoan animals in photograph you can observe the types of pseudopodia which are filamentous hair like or lobe like etc in next diagram again you can observe some protozoan animals which has cilia and flagella next type of locomotor organs are cilia as well as third one is flagella but it has the difference the cilia and flagella both are locomotor organs both are movable but basic difference is there in this diagram also you can observe the different types of protozoans having cilia and flagella these cilia and flagella are complex filamentous cytoplasmic structures protruding out the cell wall they are minute specially differentiated appendicitis of the cell flagella means a long hair like structure which extend from the plasma membrane and used to move entire cell single is flagellum cilia it is also uh, hair like but short they are used to move entire cell for example paramecium singular it is cilia they are scattered all over the surface of cell the terms cilium and flagellum are often used arbitrarily cilium means eyelash and flagellum means a whip these cilia generally shorter than flagella that is cilia are less than 10 um as compared to flagella flagella has nearly larger than the 40 um cilia are present on surface in much greater numbers but flagellated cells usually have a single flagellum the real difference lies in nature of their movement cilia row like oars the movement is biphasic consisting of effective stroke in which cilium is held rigid and bends only at its base basal region and recovery stroke in which cilium bend that bend is formed at the base and passes out 
towards the tip. This next cilium shows its bend at again tip side. The flagella wriggle like eels, eel fish. They generate waves that passes along their length, usually from the base to tip. Constant amplitude is developed. Thus, movement of water by flagellum is parallel to its axis. While cilium moves water per perpendicular to its axis, hence perpendicular to surface of cell. It can be best or well understood with help of example or the schematic diagram. In this diagram, you can see flagellar, flagellar movement as well as ciliary movement. In first diagram, we see flagellar movement that flagellum beats all the its length wise and cilia beats or shows its movement in strokes. In next diagram, both that is direction of water as well as direction of animal you can observe. In first diagram, flagellum movement is there. That is euglena is present. Its single flagellum shows beating, regal like movement. This movement is parallel to its axis. Water movement is showing parallel to its axis. And second example for cilia is paramotion. The cilia which are present all over the body, they show two types of strokes, effective stroke and <coughs> recovery stroke. These strokes can be understand in next diagram which the cilia has uh, shows a water movement perpendicular to its axis. The two types of strokes in paramotion can be understood with, with this diagram. You can observe the effective stroke and recovery stroke. The top view we can see in this diagram. The effective stroke shows bending of the cilia at its base only. Entire cilium beats and shows a pressure on the water. Expert exerts the pressure. Next uh, right side diagram shows a recovery stroke. In recovery stroke, the bend of cilium starts at the base up to the tip. When cilia beats from base to tip and shows a recovery stroke and due to such a type of ciliary movement as well as flagellar movement protozoans can show the locomotion thank you